Hi everyone. Today in this video, I am going to talk about how to take tamsulosin. What are the eight important things to consider before taking the tamsulosin will be discussed in this video. Tamsulosin is one of the well-known drug which is available under the brand name Flomax. This drug is indicated for the treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia where prostate enlargement can reduce the urinary flow. In such conditions, tamsulosin can be given which can produce a relaxation of the bladder neck as well as urethra thereby it can increase the urinary flow. But how to take this tamsulosin? At which time it should be taken and what is the right dose of tamsulosin? And what is the effect of the food? Whether it is to be taken either with food or without food? And which type of food should be taken? Whether soft drinks can be taken along with tamsulosin? Or what is the effect of alcohol? All these things are important while you are going to take the tamsulosin. Today in this video, we are going to discuss the 8 important things that should be considered while taking tamsulosin. If you really like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button to support our work. So let's start. The first one is the time of administration. When this time solution should be taken? Generally, most of the drugs can be taken at any time of the day, but time solution should be taken preferably in the morning. And it is recommended that this drug should be taken 30 minutes after the breakfast. When time solution is taken 30 minutes after the breakfast, the drug concentration can be distributed around 6 hours after administration. This distribution of the drug within the body for 6 hours can control the symptoms of BBH for the entire daytime. That's why time solution should be taken only in the morning. When the drug is distributed for 6 hours, it can control the daytime symptoms of BPH, so it can increase the urinary flow for the entire daytime. That's why it should be taken only in the morning in order to produce its action throughout the day. And it is preferably taken after the food because in fasting conditions, the drug is more absorbed leading to systemic complications. Because food can control the absorption of tamsulosin and it can also control the side effects produced by this drug. That's why this drug should not be taken on empty stomach because when this drug is administered during the fasting conditions, the drug concentrations are very high during the early hours of administration which increase the side effects like drowsiness, dizziness, and lightheadedness. So when this drug is taken on empty stomach, the side effects of tamsulosin are more pronounced. Therefore, tamsulosin should be taken 30 minutes after the breakfast. But in few people, tamsulosin can be given at bedtime for first few days in order to minimize the drowsiness produced by this drug. But after a few days, again, it can be switched to the morning dose. So here the important consideration is that time solution should be taken on the same time of each day 30 minutes after the meal and preferably it should be taken 30 minutes after the breakfast in order to produce better action during the daytime where it is really required to increase the urinary flow. But in case of any missed dose then time solution can be taken at any point of the day in order to control the symptoms of BPH. So it should be taken as early as possible in case of any missed dose. But at the same time, two doses of time solution should not be combined on the next day as it significantly increases the side effects. So in case of any missed dose, it should be taken only on the same day. On the next day, it should not be combined with the usual dose. Second important thing is the duration of treatment. Generally, time solution is well tolerated so it can be used for long term treatment and it is initiated at a dose of 0.4 mg. Even it produces few of the side effects during the early days of treatment. But still this drug should be used for long term to control the symptoms of BPH. And whenever this time solution is suddenly stopped, the symptoms of BPH can be reappear within 2 to 3 days of stopping of the dose. That's why until unless it is recommended by the physician, otherwise significant side effects are produced by this drug which are not tolerated by the patient. Except these conditions, the dose of time solution should not be skipped as it leads to reappearing of BPH symptoms in the people. But in few of the conditions, this time solution can be stopped. For instance, before surgery, the use of time solution may be stopped. But after the surgery, it should be continued based on the post-surgical conditions. Third one is the intake of alcohol. What is the effect of alcohol on time solution? Generally, tamsulosin can produce two important side effects. First one is the drowsiness. Second one is the dizziness. 
so it can produce some lightheadedness and unsteadiness in the people the same effect can also be observed with the alcohol alcohol can also increase the drowsiness when it is combined with tamsulosine that's why intake of alcohol is not recommended with tamsulosine particularly with first few weeks of the treatment so it is recommended that alcohol should be avoided with tamsulosine during the early days of the treatment fourth one is the intake of fizzy drinks tamsulosine can be used for the treatment of bph as well as for renal stones where this drug is recommended with intake of plenty of fluids so plain water or fruit juices can be taken along with the tamsulosine to improve the symptoms of bph or to facilitate the passing of renal stones but at the same time tamsulosine should not be combined with fizzy drinks as they contain carbonated water this carbonated water can release the carbon dioxide when it is taken which may affect the renal system resulting in the irritation of the bladder this bladder irritation can produce some difficulty in urination that's why along with tamsulosine fizzy drinks or soft drinks should be avoided which mainly contain carbonated water instead tamsulosine should be taken with plain water or few of the fruit juices to improve the symptoms of bph but still all fruit juice are not compatible with tamsulosine so the fifth consideration is the intake of grapefruit juice generally tamsulosine is metabolized within the liver so when this tamsulosine enters into the liver it is going to be converted into metabolites and this metabolism is mediated by one of the enzyme cyp3a4 cytochrome p453a4 this enzyme is important for metabolism of tamsulosine here grapefruit juice can act as a inhibitor of cyp3a4 enzymes so it can inhibit the metabolism of tamsulosine when the metabolism of tamsulosine is inhibited the levels of tamsulosine within the body are increased which increase the side effects of this drug so when this tamsulosine is combined with grapefruit juice it can increase the side effects like dizziness drowsiness lightheadedness which are not easily tolerated that's why time solution should not be taken along with the grapefruit juice sixth one is the intake of fiber many of the fruits and nuts are rich in fiber for example pears avocado bananas carrots strawberries in this way so many types of foods are rich in fiber they can control the symptoms of constipation which again improves the symptoms of bph for instance if a patient is having constipation along with bph it can reduce the motility of gi tract as well as it can reduce the urinary flow which further complicates the symptoms of bph so in such people along with intake of tamsulosine intake of fiber is recommended to control urinary symptoms as well as constipation that may be produced with tamsulosine seventh one is the lightheadedness already we have discussed that tamsulosine can produce some lightheadedness so, so it can produce some dizziness confusion even it can also produce some fainting which are particularly more important during the initial days so while taking the tamsulosine care should be taken while driving the vehicles or working with machinery because this drug can produce lightheadedness particularly within the first few weeks of the treatment that's why this drug should not be combined with other drugs which again produce lightheadedness otherwise it should not be combined with alcohol eighth one is the effect on impotence use of tamsulosine may result in the failure of ejaculation it can also produce some painful erection even it can produce erection for longer periods greater than 4 hours which may cause painful erection or even damage to the rectal tissue so if prolonged painful erection is observed with tamsulosine immediately the drug should be stopped in order to avoid any damage to the rectal tissue and in the people with erectile dysfunction few of the drugs may be prescribed like sildenafil tadalafil vadenafil all these drugs are phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors which are indicated for erectile dysfunction but these drugs should not be combined with tamsulosine because all these drugs can produce significant hypotension when they are combined with tamsulosine so in the people with erectile dysfunction who are treated with phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors tamsulosine is contraindicated So these are the eight important things that should be considered while taking tamsulosine. So that's all about the intake of tamsulosine. Hope this video is useful to you. 
If you really like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.